Today, we're going to talk about dogs and the incredible feats they reach. Literally, not feats, feet. Mm -hmm. We're talking about jumping dogs. From dogs with jumping talents to how to train your dog when not to jump. Let's get right to it. Have you ever been jumped on by a dog before? Maybe even fallen over because of one? Then you know how cool jumping can be and also how detrimental it can be to both you and your jumping pup. Jumping can be seen as an impressive talent, such as Lexi's very special talent. As you can see, Lexi can jump amazingly high. No fence is tall enough to contain this high-flying pup. Meet Lexi, a dog with a very special talent. As you can see, Lexi can jump amazingly high. So high that this escape artist can scale the backyard fence. The Guinness World Record for highest jump by a dog was by Feather, a two-year-old greyhound from Maryland in 2017. This impressive jumping canine jumped a whopping 6.2 feet. With the average fence being six to eight feet tall, Lexi might be contender for the world record. Fortunately, Lexi never actually jumps over the fence. She's just one nosy pup who wants to watch her neighbours, and maybe a squirrel or two. I mean, who doesn't like people watch? Lexi's videos went viral on social media, gaining over tens of thousands of views on Instagram and TikTok. Since then, she has been on America's Funniest Home Videos, CBS and Yahoo. She's literally jumping into reality but she's not letting the fame get to her head. And now she even has her own pet brand, where 10% of proceeds go to rescue pups. This little pup is special in more ways than one, even if her neighbors may not have any privacy anymore. Did you know why dogs jump? It is actually a method of greeting. When dogs greet each other, they are fairly eye level. So this is what they're used to. When a dog jumps on you, he's just trying to greet you as one of his own. Congrats, you're part of the pack. Some may see it as disobedience, but others just see it as an enthusiastic hello. If you're not the biggest fan of this large gesture, a simple trick to train them out of it is to teach off, then immediately putting them into a sit. Of course, don't forget the treats. While jumping may be a cute greeting, did you know that it could actually be detrimental to your pup's joints? Their landing, otherwise known as braking, can put unnecessary pressure on their front legs and shoulders. Not only is there already added pressure, but different surfaces can affect your dog's braking ability as well. They may fall and slip and injure their joints. So make sure to assist your pup whenever possible to avoid jumping. Some dogs are more prone to joint issues than others though which is why preventative measures such as hip and joint supplements can be a great alternative to an expensive surgery later. Worf's hip and joint supplement sees results in 90 days and can even be used proactively to prevent joint issues later on. Do you know the most prolific jumpers? Some of the highest jumping breeds are the Weimreiner, the Jack Russell Terrier, the German Shepherd, the Rottweiler, the Border Collie and the Greyhound to just list a few. If you're planning on getting a high jumping breed, you better get an extra tall fence. But don't let the desire for jumping deter you from getting that dog. More energy just means more love to give. When we paddle out into the lineup, people smile. There's no doubt. You know, and we'll take off on a wave and I hear people going, Rosie, go, Rosie. It's, it's pretty cool. There's actually quite a few people who surf with their dogs and then we have these competitions where they surf 